congratulations to the winners tonight on our uh, giveaway. So, yeah, man. Back to die. Okay, we can we get you through this. It's, that was such a crazy time. Um, so I get a message uh, out of the blue. Die. Now, mind you, I've never heard from these guys before, right? Die oh. is a speedball. Die with a speedball company. Yeah. I've never exchanged a message with these guys ever before. Okay. And it's like, you know, I'm a woods baller. They're a speed baller company. It is what it is. And it's like, okay. Um, they go, hey, we have a new thing coming out, and we'd like you to be our guy. We'd like you to be our spokesperson for this. It's a wood ball thing, yada, yada, yada. And uh, I signed, like, 15,000 NDAs, mm -hmm. so, I, so I don't say anything about it. Uh, those NDAs are non-disclosure agreements. Yeah. Um, and uh, I said, okay, cool. Let's talk. Let's chat. And uh, they showed me this new, this new marker called the Die Assault Matrix. And I was like, oh, wow, that's interesting. Meanwhile, I'm really like fucking creaming my pants on this because <laughs> this one was so freaking cool. I was like, yeah. Jesus, God, look at this freaking thing. It's a piece. <laughs> It can do this. It can do freaking fully automatic three round burst to hoppers. They got a box man come. This is before they even had the oh, box. Yeah, you know. I want it. And I go, I wear my precious. Yeah, you know, yes. it's like you know, like, <laughs> yeah. you know that scene in Wayne's World when he sees the get that. I will have it. Oh yes, I will. And it was like <laughs> yeah. that. And it was like, and I was like, holy <laughs> Jesus. And I go so, and then. Mind you, you guys have to understand, okay? I played paintball for 10 years. I did not know there was such a thing as sponsorship. I did not know that whole world. I didn't know. That's a whole episode. Yeah, that's a whole different episode. The first that's sponsor I two. got. Yeah, like, I mean, Titman would hook me up with certain goods, and that was, that was dope, but we never had anything on paper, right? right. And there was no paycheck or yada, yada, yada. Like, I, yeah. and, and I, Sly sent me stuff. The sly profits and that, but I was never, I never knew that the whole sponsor world existed. So Di calls me up and we said, okay, let's talk. And, um, you know, and I was scared. I was worried because I, I didn't know what this world involved. I didn't know. And I asked one of my, my colleagues who, who I trust with everything. Um, and, and that was, uh, Matt. And, um, I don't know if you guys know, well, you guys probably know Maverick. And uh, uh, Matthew Watts, uh, aka Maverick, and we go. Who you mean the Matthew yeah. Watts sounds familiar? Yeah, he's 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 been he's he's like one of those Cliff Clavens of paintball knows everything about the game, right? Okay. And I trust him. With, he did the one of the original. Uh, uh, he did one of the original conversion kits to convert a Tipman A5 into a mag fed gun. Oh. Uh, he did that video with me. He did a whole bunch of stuff with me, and he's taught me about the game from day one. So I said, Matt, I've never, I, I don't know much about these guys. I don't know much about this speedball company. What do you think? And Matt was like, Bro, are you fucking crazy? Fucking go for it. What are you waiting for? <laughs> Holy shit, that's crazy. Nobody's done that before. You're a woods ball player. These guys don't care about woods ball. Like, they never, this is crazy. Go for it. I was like, okay, that sounds like a good idea. Um, and and, really? um, and 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 he goes, yeah, you you know, you might get a little bit of hate, and um, and but he goes, the exposure will be insane. And I go, okay. And so I just, you know, I thought about it for a bit, and then I call, I talked to Die, and you know, I said, but I have to, you know, I put certain things in the contract, and I wanted to be able to still review other markers and stuff. Ah, uh, yeah. Um, so you, I'm one of the few guys in the world who can do that. So I can still review and play with other guns and stuff and test them up properly and be honest about them, right? Because that's awesome. that was that's how I really grew is reviewing guns and gear, right? Oh, so, really? Was your review yeah. video? It was my review videos that made me huge, right? Because my Tipman A5, Tipman Phenom video was huge. My Tipman, the Tipman Tipex video got huge, right? And that's how, and I told truth about stuff. Like I didn't say it, mm -hmm. I didn't say I like stuff just because I got it for free. And so I was one of the few guys in the world who was not selling gear and reviewing it honestly, right? Yes. And so I said, I still want to be able to do that. So, um, and they said, absolutely. We want you to, we want you to keep being you. Do your thing. We just want, 
the world seeing you use our stuff. And if you like it, say you like it. And if you if you hate it, say you hate it. When they said say you hate it, if you don't like it, I was in. Sold. I was sold. I said, you know what? Okay. If they, they want me, they're not going to try and limit me in any way possible. Because I've heard horror stories of um, guys, you know, using other products. Like, you know, like if they're represented by a certain company and they use like a, another hopper because theirs died or something that they couldn't be seen using. Like I've heard crazy stories. Yeah, like that, right? mm -hmm. so many. Which is a normal, which is normal for a sponsorship. And I did not want to be in that. So I was like, okay, let's do it. Let's do it. All right. And then I did this whole thing where <laughs> it's funny because these guys sent me a box the size of a table. I remember the video. To my I, house. I, that was the video I was talking uh, about earlier. I loved I it. I loved that video. That, and that did, is how they should be, man. Yeah. I, I, knew, I did it like an airdrop from Call of Duty. Yeah, Where they had I to drop it. a crate for me. I filmed it in the woods, in the snow. I was freezing my ass off. I had to set up a camera out there. And I did a hell. I, I got a pair. You know, and I did a drop. And I opened the stuff in the middle of the woods. My neighbors will walk by me like I'm freaking crazy, crazy black guy in the woods. <laughs> um, and <laughs> I said, it's new and die and this and that and this. And it was awesome. It was so, I was so blessed. And, you know, I had a lot of new followers and they didn't know exactly who this wolf guy was. And they did the research and go, okay, this guy's legit, you know, and yeah. he's been doing this for a while. It wasn't some new kid who just came around the block and hippity yes. hoppy. And you know what I mean? Like I wasn't, yeah. you know, and you know, I, I done prove myself in many ways. And and um like this is before like this is after I played living uh general living, living legends, legends. and right. after I you know I did a whole bunch of stuff. I'm not gonna try and do my resume, but um and there was an element of paintball that said wolf sold out. <laughs> so like, man, you sold out, and then we thought you were legitimate, and oh. you're you know. You, oh, you have no idea the pettiness that occurred. It was crazy. And the paintball team uh, thought I was cocky at the time, and they didn't like what I was doing. And they said, it's weird because if you ever met me in person, I am not. No. I am, I'm the furthest thing from an ego, which is kind of weird saying that because it sounds like I have an ego for saying I don't have an ego. But <laughs> if exactly you ever met me in with person. Ego would say. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Very, very humble and very chill. Very. I, I try to be, and it's like, I, I, and it's like, it's, only a narcissist would say that. But it's like, <laughs> it, it, I'm very chill. I'm very relaxed, and it's like I, I, I try not to be that guy, right? I'll, I'll take a picture with anybody. I'll sign anything yeah. you want. I always have time for people whenever I can, and it's like, apparent, like people just automatically assumed I had an ego because I got this deal. Because I guess a lot of people want it, would love a deal like that. And again, I had no idea. I didn't know about the sponsorship world. This is all new to me. Mm -hmm. So it's not that I took it for granted. I just I didn't understand the weight of it, what it would carry. So there was a segment there of like, oh, man, you you know, we liked you when you used uh, A5s and Titmans. Now you've changed, man. Just playing for the man now. You know what I mean? Yeah, I like, yeah, really? yeah, yeah. I was like, dude, are you seriously? Like, I'm the same guy. You know what I mean? Yeah, and you can't, you can't fight that. Like you can't, you can't. And it, it was weird because I went through this thing. I was with a team at a time, and they got rid of me for whatever drama that was happening behind the scenes. And and he's like, you know, and I was like, ah, fuck it, I'm just gonna do this on my own. I just do it on my own. I just do it lone wolf style. Fuck it. Because the Ow. great thing, great thing about paintball, is that no matter where you, you can go by yourself and you're still a part of a team no matter where you go yes right i mean yes. it's nice to travel with guys and do that stuff but i've always been kind of a solo person anyways and it's like i i i, I don't have to deal with you know people getting jealous of certain things and people getting angry and other people's egos and hey politics like, yeah the politics oh, the God. politics of the game and it's like it's it, it's like like I I I, feel, I I would feel bad because I would go you know I I had other sponsors too and then you know I'd go out to a game and you know the field the, the sponsor of the field would put me up in certain hotels and mm -hmm. you know give me this and certain perks and they would do stuff and I was like 
you know, other players have to pay for their stuff, and I can't. You know what I mean? Like, I it, it's that weird, awkward shit. It, like, and I can't control certain things. Exactly. And, it's like, and there's no. It's a. It's a lose lose situation.